Hey guys, we're here playing Reyna. ID I've always liked, but didn't really have a home. We're gonna try it out now at the big box. And this is more or less your Anarch Breaker security testing. Shutdowns, that kind of thing. Just powered up with a new money and draw from, from Ordering Chaos. Pretty good opening hand, actually. Quite pleased to see the sheer gamble here. Kitty Jones is pretty decent as well. Let's take a poke in here. Wants to pay one extra or not. He does not want to pay one extra. All right. Uh, I see Nebula, so he's probably playing a fair bit of space ice. This might be a free access here. So our options are like to draw, or we'll put Katie here. I think Katie will be very good this game, since we're playing against a non-deck <laughs> with breaking news. With a hedge fund. So we're going to see him go sideways. We're paying one extra to access a card. This is conceivably, well, almost certainly one of the space ice. So let's go check what it is before he advances any further. Does he want to pay six for this? Actually, plus one. He does not. There's a pad campaign. Interesting. Do you want to check this? He probably is running a lot of pads. I don't want to check that. Just click up Katie. Security testing is... Yeah, that's what we're going to see there. One of the main things in this deck, it's a zero MU solution to get money. It's stacked with, with security tests, or the, with dirty laundry. He would probably res this now. And he probably has boot camp to res it. If we don't, I'm going to check this one out just in case. It's most likely the pad. Yeah, it's the pad. Let's draw. Katie and he's gonna get a little bit out of control we'll kill this pad at least marked accounts can probably stay it cost some actions to put it there yeah so this is presumably a space ice which is tough for us because we, get, we play shutdowns, and they don't do anything against these ice because they're just can you rest again for cheap. Going to one card in his hand, kind of interesting. Uh, let's draw. <laughs> We're getting all our laundries, which is funny. Let's kill this. Oh no. Whoops. Oh well. with the dollar. Guess I'm not accessing that one. All right, so we, we still got our money. Let's check this one. Um, it's this one, firmware updates, trying to sneak a one pointer out. Well, we're gonna check it. That's what we do. And we can launder here and get testing money plus our, our dirty laundry. The issue we can have is that we need some suckers in order to beat the big ice. So he's playing these big space ice. Uh, let's draw for something. Meh. Alright, let's let's kill this pad campaign now that I remember that it costs a dollar to access it. And we'll put money on Katie. Getting our breaker set up, he doesn't really know. Where are the agendas besides this one he's just drawn? Paywall implementation, oh baby. So he's gonna let us get, he's gonna get money for us just rampaging on him with testing. It's pretty nice. He's gonna slowly advance his glacier stuff here. Hmm. Uh, to 
actually have... He got some cards in there. Let's still check this. Gonna raise it now. Does he have agendas in hand now? Toll booth. Well, he's paid nine for that. But these, this one's probably free. Well, could have gone better there. So the Yogg is no good. We need something else. Daily cast. Well, we're getting a lot of money. A lot of money and not many tricks. I think we check everything, right? We basically want to check everything, and he knows this, so I'm not sure what this is going to be, but we're just going to kill it. It's pad campaign. Yeah, we'll trash that too. Um, there's a data sucker. Now we're talking. This gives him money, but it's unfortunate. But we need a second to sucker tokens pretty bad. We can yog through that at some point. And shutdown on this is very good. Alrighty, let's... He's gonna try to score soon, right? I think that's my feeling. <clears throat> so we want to surprise him when he tries to score by being completely ready for it. Get a sucker token. Put out the corroder. So we can now take money from Katie, install a knight, move knight, and take whatever goes in there. <clears throat> and if he doesn't do anything, we'll just probably keep playing out breakers. This medium will be good once we're rigged up. We can just medium dig him. But I don't like these. This is probably one of the trash program ones. Uh, Nebula, I think, is the trash program one. And that has strength 5, so we need to have at least two sucker tokens and worry about that. Click, click, and advance. So he's doing nothing. We kind of have him locked down. So let's play... Special order for Yogg. Just slap that down. Not that eager to run much more and give him more money. So we don't have legwork. It's hard to fit the influence in. Special order is pretty important to find your breakers when you're Anarch. Okay, you're just gonna build up. Try to lock us out here. Uh, if it's Orion, what strength is Orion again? Eight? So Orion actually beats Knight, except for the one sucker token, so we should be okay there. Um, another Corroder, we don't need that. Yeah, this is fine. Let's go in here. Pay 18. Get to go in. See a card. He probably has something in here. See Jackson Howard, which will trash promptly. And then drop the shutdown on it. Of these cards, the Corroder is less good. We have Deja Vu in case we need it later, and a clone ship as well.
hoping this pushes him into trying to score an agenda here and we'll be able to put our mimic down maybe even the knight and go in both nebula and uh what's the barrier one called have only one sub so a knight is pretty strong against them Bring up now. I'm still getting the memorizing all the asteroid belt. Yeah, asteroid belt is only one sub. He's thinking hard about this, so this is probably an agenda. Yeah, he's going for it. It's either an agenda or like the best trap. Uh, let's think about the best line here. If you're him, you put the ETR on the inside, right? I feel like... Like... Mimic... Is not that good. Because it's probably not a sentry ETR on the inside. I think we put Knight host get sucker token in case of a booth on the inside yeah that seems fine and go here try to take this agenda I mean it's not worth much to him to res this for three credits and have me just break it for two let's see the next one Hadrian's Wall, hello. Well, he pays 11 for it. he's at $1. Um, seven for us to break, or we could spend some sucker tokens. Let's spend six. So we put it to three. Okay, so it's six strength, we need... Uh, all right, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. And we go through, and we pay a buck to access it, and it's reversed accounts. Ah, that's disappointing. So we can break this with the knight if we want. That's probably gonna be the efficient way to do it. I still don't think running these is right because he's. He's put all the money into them effectively. He's effectively paid like six for these each because he paid money in advance instead of like clicking for credits. So instead of, instead of paying three, you could have had three with the same number of clicks. So this effectively costs six of them on each and they're not even doing anything yet. I think we can let them pile up an HQ and go like that. So. I would say you want to run HQ here. Let's get our testing and our sucker token. And let's see if we can find the agenda in his HQ because he must have one now and we need it. An APD contract. Well, that'll do. Um, let's go once more, I'll put money on Katie. Sucker tokens are worth their weight in gold here. Orion's in there. Good to know. I'm a big fan of Katie Jones in any matchup that's not NEH. Just the efficiency is, is definitely there. So if you're him, how do you peg this one? Is this not like a pad campaign? Or is this him having no money for 
HQ ice, so he's putting it in the remote to keep it safe. See the upgrade go up on it on HQ, is that I'm not even sure what that is. We know the booth can't be res because it costs him nine. This seems safe to run. And maybe it's Chrysium Grid, but that doesn't do much to us. It's Ash, sure. Uh, so we'll not pay the trace. We'll just get rid of Ash, I think. But then why would he have done that? Rather than put Ash here. I think he's just desperate. Uh, okay. Doesn't count for that one, so we still have that. Like, we could run here and maybe see it. We take money from Katie before we get, we can see this card. I feel like it's almost like it's firmware updates, but I'm not convinced enough to actually run there. I think I want to get money on Katie to be a little more efficient. If he scores, we can just run his HQ much more times. Maybe it's a second ash, he just had too many ashes. He's gonna throw his agendas out now or look for some more money. Throwing out his agendas. medium I think is still not that great if we had a bunch of money to spare we could run there but we don't need to uh, let's get the Jackson to be burned then we can draw and Katie or we can go here he might have kept one agenda Is that what you do, do you think? Uh, let's just double check what's all is in here. Yeah, nothing we didn't see already. So Queen's Gambit is a good money card. If you play like a pad campaign, we can check it and then we can Queen's Gambit it for six bucks, which is quite nice. If we thought this was Ash, we could do the same thing. Puts ice over here. What do we think this is? Could well be a destroyer that he wants to try and get us with. Put something in here. Bold move. I mean, presumably there's ash, right? I think we go for that. We have so many sucker tokens that we don't overly need. Um, and he's got to be knowing that his HQ is wide open. I'm going to buy that as being an agenda. Let's take the money. Run. Run again. Yeah, this is fine. I doubt this is Orion. It's wormhole, right? So you got to break that. Even if it was a rhyme, would be safe. Like we're actually quite safe from most things here. One, two, three, four, five. Pay two into this. Now we can beat the trace and see the other card. What do we have? There's Ash. Okay. If you want to go again, it's going to cost us more than four. So I'm inclined to pay four. 
or pay three. Yeah, it's pay three to win the trace. And let's access this card first to know what it is. Reversed accounts again, man. We will kill the Ash. He's really just like ringing us out here. And we can test here, and now he can't pay for Grim. Or actually anything scary, let's check this. Yeah, it's just Ice Wall. Uh, we can pay one to get two. And a sucker token. So he must have the points in his hand or something. Or maybe he doesn't have any. He threw them all away. Another ash. Oh, brutal. It's the third ash, right? Or did he shuffle them back in? Nope, two ash and one in his hand. Well, we definitely can't Queen's game with the reversed accounts. That would be <laughs> hilariously bad. But if he installs the Ash, we can Queen's Gambit the Ash. Trash is the toll booth. Great for us. This is probably pad. I think we check it anyway. He's just rolling under space ice. So we actually can't res it this turn. Right, unless it's ice wall, but then we don't care. It could be shadow, but it's probably a space ice. Let's double check this just in case. Constellation protocol, yeah, that's fine. Um, whoops, did I put up to three? Did I get, yeah, it worked out properly. So he gets to move his counters around from this over to this, making this cheaper. That's actually pretty strong eventually, right? If you're a slow dirty deck, you can eventually get uh, three bucks a turn of stuff. Reverse to counts us, empties the remote out. Now he cannot res this again though. Right, that's like our assumption that it's probably like Orion. Install this uh, zero. We'll do it like this. And probably click Katie again. Or I could pop it and have a good chance to knock out the Ash. Honestly, that seems good to me. Because I really just don't want him to have Ash in there. 
So, yeah. I'll, I'll check it next turn. I want to get Katie going here. I almost don't need to check any more remotes because he... If he scores an Alice, it doesn't really matter. Excuse me. This could be an agenda, or it could not. It's really sucks that I don't have Another shutdown for this Hadrian's. Because that would be quite strong. Uh, let's run and test here. So I can have money to security to uh, take any PD out of this... out of this server. If I happen to knock one out. the wrong card down he says whoops so I'm just running a lot I was really missing Desperado but the influence is pretty hard to fit in Encourages me, which I don't think actually does anything. I really just need two tokens to be safe with my other thing from. A medium beat like a, a nebula. If he puts another token here, it almost signals that it's Orion. He's gonna advance the ice wall. He might as well, right? Wrong with Jackson. It's Jackson number two. I feel like we're almost certain to win, but uh, this deck is pretty dirtily. We did not hit the third ash yet. It's probably in there. Yeah. All right. Let's let's try to get a shutdown. We do not. Oh, knifed. That is good. That is good. It's security testing, but he bumps it anyway, which I guess is fine. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's blow this Hadrian's wall up. That's super good. to six. Smash this. I 
I think Knight is the best of the cutlery because barriers tend to be bigger and beefier and more annoying. This is certainly the third Ash. Or reversed accounts, potentially. It's the third Ash. We'll get rid of that. Get another Grimoire. We haven't played it and we actually can't afford to play it. We've been kept so busy running stuff. We don't have a ton of money. Fatal Invitation again. Kind of fun. Interesting. So that could do some work for us. Because if this turns out to be like the the barrier one, we can just smash through it. He's gonna advance, he's going for it. Alrighty. Let's It's probably not a reversed accounts. Seriously, because the rest of them have been all been reversed accounts. He has seven bucks. Seven bucks is what? Exactly Nebula? No, Nebula's nine, does it? Yeah, and it costs him... Caduceus. Okay. Um... If we pay four, we can exactly access, and then NAPD gets bump, bumps us out. So I'm just gonna put money in the bank, and probably click for money. Had. An APD? Yeah, it was. That's what I thought it was. Uh, let's go and
So there you have it. Uh, knife was an all-star. Taking that big barrier was immense for us. Didn't see any parasites. Would have been nice. Overall, the deck was decent. I didn't mind it. Wouldn't hate having an imp in here somewhere, but I'm not sure what to cut. Thanks for watching, guys.